There are many ways to do a back roll. This video guides you through a slow beginner back roll so you can hopefully learn without damaging yourself or your kites. Firstly, you need to be super reliable with small jumps because you must use the same bar movement for back rolls. For a small jump, ride at a medium slow speed, bring the kite up a little, you don't even need to reach 12 o'clock for a small jump, pull in the bar to take off, once you take off, keep the bar in and do not steer. Only as you land do you need to bring the kite in front to keep going. Now, for the beginner back roll, all we need to do is add rotation to this jump. So medium speed, bring the kite up with your right hand. Before 12, pull in the bar to take off. Now, instead of taking off with your board pointing straight, you're going to quickly carve your board upwind this curve will make sure you rotate as you take off. Next, this is the important bit. Once you take off, keep the bar in, but do not steer the kite. If you panic and loop the kite, you'll land heavily. You're trying to keep the kite near 12. If you struggle with this, you might consider placing your hands nearer to the center of the bar. Only once you're landing, do you need to steer the kite left to carry on riding. If you're more confident in goofy stance, then I'll look at this once more the other way around. This time, bring your kite up with your left hand. Just before 12, pull in the bar to take off, carving upwind hard just before you launch. Do not steer your kite while airborne. Once you are landing, bring the kite in front with your right hand to keep your speed. You'll probably crash a few of these. Try not to ride too fast at first. If you ride in slower, you will most likely crash slower. If you're not going to land a back roll, it is especially important not to steer the kite. Keep your kite still near 12 and it should soften the crash. Good luck learning back rolls. Post any questions you have below. Thank you.